conversion of a mixed recurring decimal in p upon q4 what is a mixed recurring decimal for example 0.32 bar is a mixed recurring decimal in a mixed recurring decimal there are some digits which don't have bar on it in this number 3 doesn't have bar on it therefore this is a mixed recurring decimal now let us see how to convert this mixed recurring decimal in p upon q4 first of all check the number of digit after decimal which do not have bar on it in this question we know 3 that is only one digit doesn't have bar on it in that case we multiply the number by 10 if there are two digit which don't have bar on it we multiply the number by 100 and so on. now let us consider this number as x so x is equal to 0.32 bar this is equation number 1 first we multiply this by 10 that is equation 1 multiplied by 10 so 10x equal to 0.32 bar into 10 that is 3.2 bar 10x equal to 3.2 bar this is equation number 2 and this equation is a pure recurring decimal now we use the method of converting a pure recurring decimal in p upon q4 for that first we multiply equation 2 by 10 because only one digit is repeating there so equation 2 becomes 100x 10 into 10 100x is equal to 30 2.2 bar that is equation number 3 now we subtract now subtract equation 2 from 3 that is is 100x equal to 32.2 bar minus 10x is equal to 3.2 bar 3.2 bar that is 90x equal to 0 
so 90x equal to 29.0 that is x equal to 29 upon 90 this is the p upon q form of the given number Now we are going to solve yet another question. Express 0 0.8 plus 0 0.9 bar plus 0 0.67 bar in P upon Q4. Here 0 0.8 is a terminating decimal. 0 0.9 bar is a pure recurring decimal and 0 0.67 bar is a mixed recurring decimal. Let us see how to solve this problem. First, we consider 0 0.8 is x and this one y and this is z. So we can write x equal to 0 0.8, y equal to 0 0.9 bar and z equal to 0 0.67 bar. Now convert this terminating decimal into P upon Q4. That is 8 upon 10. Next, y equal to 0 0.9 bar. So, y is equal to 0 0.9 bar. This is equation number 1. There is only one digit is repeating. Therefore, this equation number multiplied by 10. So, 10 y is equal to 9.9 .9 bar. That is equation number 2. Now, equation 2 minus equation 1. That is 0 0.9 bar. 9 y is equal to 0 0.9 that is 9 y is equal to 9 y is equal to 9 upon 9 that's equal to 1 now we got x is equal to 8 upon 10 and y is equal to 9 upon 9 that's equal to 1. Now we can convert 0 0.67 bar into P upon Q4. For that first z is equal to 0 0.67 7 bar. First we multiply this by 10 because there is one digit which don't have which doesn't have bar on it. Therefore 10 z is equal to 6.7 bar. This is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. Now, we multiply this equation 2 by 10 because one digit is repeat. Therefore, 100 z is equal to 67.7 bar. 
that is equation number 3 now subtract equation 2 from 3 equation 2 from 3 that is 10 z is equal to 6.7 bar that is 90 z is equal to 0.16 then z is equal to 61 upon 90 z is equal to 61 upon 90 now we got x is equal to 8 upon 10 y equal to 1 z is equal to 61 upon 90 therefore from the question we know 0 0.8 plus 0 0.9 bar plus 0 0.67 bar is equal to 8 upon 10 plus 1 plus 61 upon 90 that is equal to we know LCM of 10 and 90 is 90 then by using LCM method we can solve this that is nine. using LCM we can solve this LCM is 90 so 90 divided by 10 that is uh, that is 9 9 eights are 72 plus 90 divided by 1 90 90 into 1 90 plus 90 divided by 90 1 1 into 61 61 that is equal to 72 plus 90 plus 61 equal to 223 upon 90 so the answer is 223 upon 90 0 0.8 plus 0 0.9 bar plus 0 0.6 six seven bar is equal to two hundred and twenty three upon ninety.